Welcome back to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. In this week's episode, we're gonna talk about the secrets to getting strong. So what is the secret to getting strong or fitter or faster? Well, it comes down to basically this idea of super compensation. And maybe you guys, some of you have heard about it, um, but basically we're just gonna talk about how it, physiologically it actually happens, right? We think and we have this idea that's just been passed down culturally uh, maybe you know incorrectly that if we do more we're gonna get more out of it meaning our training sessions so just by going in and doing more it doesn't mean that you're going to get more out of your training session you've heard me talk before about the importance of recovery and how uh, if you're not recovering the training that you accomplished for that day is pretty much useless well it comes down to this idea of super compensation where uh, this idea takes our baseline fitness, right, where you currently are, and you're going to go into the gym and you're going to train, right? And let's say, I don't know, let's say you're running 400 meters, okay? So 400 meter repeats, uh, let's say times 10, you get out of your training session and now you're fatigued, right? Physically, you're fatigued, right? You've used muscles, energy systems, uh, you need to replenish glycogen, uh, you know, hormones, hormones are affected. There's this big cascade of effect of stress that happens on your system, right? This stress is not good or bad. The key here is that we recover from it, right? So out of this point of fatigue, uh, maybe that evening, right, you start to recover. And this recovery process can happen right after your training session. That's why it's really important just as soon as you're done training, your entire focus as an athlete should be on recovery. I think in general, we spend way too much time focusing on our training than our recovery. If you just flip that, I guarantee you'll get more out of, out of your training for sure. And so it's through this recovery portion that we actually get fitter and faster, right? We stress our bodies and we're gonna recover. And our bodies are so, so smart in really kind of a dumb way where any stress that um, we incur, our bodies are going to want to become resilient to that. It's gonna to want to adapt and it wants to basically get to a point where we're fitter and stronger than where we were before as a pure survival mechanism, right? So if you think about um, if, you know, if you almost die, what your body is doing inside is basically saying, we want that never ever to happen again, so we're gonna do everything we can to get stronger, fitter, and faster, right? So next time that stress comes up, we're more prepared to handle it. And so this is the general idea of super compensation. It's how we get fitter, faster, and stronger. It's through the recovery that we bounce back and now our baseline fitness is higher than where we were before, if that makes sense. And so now the new baseline that we've established through our ability to recover is now that baseline in which when we train again, right, we're gonna fatigue ourselves. And so you can see this pattern of basically stressing our bodies, allowing it to recover. We super compensate. Now we're a little bit fitter, a little bit faster than we were before. And then we train again and so forth and so on. And hopefully over the course of a year, two years, right, our trajectory goes up. Now this is really challenging because there's a lot of uh, things to take into account. It's not only how often you train, uh, let's say in a day, right, or in a week, but it's also the cumulative fatigue over months and months at a time. So you can imagine in a single training session, we're trying to recover. And that's how we uh, basically get fitter and faster. Now, take that into an entire week right? And we need to do the same thing. This is a big reason why every, um, you know, three to six weeks, generally there should be some sort of deloading in your program to ensure that you can kind of reset within a block of training, okay? The same should happen uh, within every six months, every year. You've heard me talk again about the importance of taking time off in the postseason, right? If you, when's the last time you've taken 10 days completely off out of the gym? Uh, think about that. This is a big opportunity to kind of reset that system, right? And to increase the ability for you to recover and supercompensate. So this idea uh, goes in from a training session to a week to your seasonal plan, if that makes sense. So it's important to make sure that the recovery is there. 
Now there's two mistakes that we commonly make. The most common being is that we train too often. Okay, now so stay with me, right? We've had a baseline fitness. We, we train, right? We stress our bodies and we fatigue. Now in fatiguing, we have a certain time period in which we can recover. If we start to train too soon, too much, right? We never hit that super compensation. We never hit a new baseline of fitness, if that makes sense. So we end up training in a fatigued state. Now training in this fatigued state is what leads us to overreaching, overtraining, things like that. And so even though you might be doing more, this is how we can actually become less fit, if that makes sense. So in the process of training and stressing our bodies, we fatigue. We need to wait until we're completely recovered or recovered above our baseline to get the benefits of training. That's the most common one. A less common occurrence is we don't train enough. And what I mean by that is that uh, in the super compensation, so we've established a new baseline which is higher than the one prior, we've recovered well, we're doing everything we need to, now we're stronger, fitter, and faster. If we wait too long to train, right, we're going to get back down to our baseline fitness. And in that case, uh, let's say you don't train frequently enough. This could be training every three days. For some of you, it just might be doing one a days. Your rate of adaptation is so fast that doing one a days is leaving some on the table. For other folks, masters in particular, just by doing two a days isn't necessarily the answer. And so timing this period on in which you can train, stress your body, fatigue, recover, and then train again at super compensation above baseline is the key to getting stronger, fitter, and faster.